You want to know how much money I made in medical device sales? And I'm here to tell you. I started in college. I got a full-time pharmaceutical sales rep position in my last semester of college, which only happened because I did internships. My salary for that job was $40,000 a year. And by the time I graduated, I was qualified to do medical device sales, which is a higher pay point typically than pharmaceutical sales. It depends on the company. Um, so I started making closer to like 50,000, but it was 50,000 base and then plus commission on top of that. Then I switched to a diagnostic imaging company and was making $75,000 a year. That was with commission as well. And then I got very good, okay? Then I interviewed for a surgical sales position. Now that's the top of the top. That's like where you want to be. That's why I started in college because I knew I would have to work my way up to that position. But surgical sales is where you make a shitload of money. I was 23 years old at the time and I got offered $250,000 a year as an account representative. Now I had originally gone, on, gone in to interview for an associate to the rep, which is basically like a rep's assistant, which was half of that salary. And they were like, actually, you really impressed us. So we're going to just give you the 250K offer. I was like, I remember when I got the call, Steven and I were on the tennis court and he started crying. He was like, you work so hard for this. He was bawling, crying. That's when I knew. That's what I knew. I was like, that's the one. That's the one for me. So yeah, I'd call it lucrative. Lucrative. I ended up actually working in that 250K position because after they gave me the offer, they decided not to expand there anymore. So that's how I became a realtor. That's how I became a realtor. That's how I became a realtor.